Hello, welcome to Pursuit of Perfect System. My name is Terry Ellis, I'm an audio reviewer and a Direct Live Calibrator, and in this video, I'm concluding the review for the Nagra Classic Integrated Amplifier that you can see there to my left. Nagra's history dates back to 1951, where Stefan Kudelski invented the first miniature high quality audio recorder called the Nagra One. And Nagra is the Polish word that means will record. These miniature recorders changed the pro audio world and the company had great success in their sales and development, even leading to the company to winning two Oscars. How cool is that? However, it wasn't until 1997 that Nagra entered the hi-fi market with their Nagra PLPU phono stage. 22 years later, Nagra is a name synonymous with high-end audio electronics. Their factory is located in Romanel in Switzerland. They have lots of components made for them, but they assemble everything at their factory, and that is also where they make their custom transformers. Therefore, Nagra as a company has been at the pinnacle of the two most important links in the audio chain, the recording and the playback, and I'm sure the experiences they've learned in one has helped them develop products in the other. Nagra's current product portfolio has two different lines, the HD line and the Classic line. The Classic integrated amplifier I'm reviewing forms part of a very comprehensive product range. There is a phono stage, there is a DAC, there is a CD player, there is a preamplifier and separate power amplifier. There is a power supply and there is even valve based monoblocks. Looking specifically at the Classic integrated, I want to start with its price tag. The current price is £15,500. So it's an expensive, very high end amplifier. But what actually constitutes a £15,000 amplifier? Well, I think it has to put a big tick in four critical boxes. Visual styling, build quality, obviously sound quality, less essential but still important is brand or badge appeal. Let's start by taking a look at the visual styling of the Classic Integrated. Now Nagra's Classic line is designed to mimic their long heritage of audio recorders. I think there is a huge element of understated elegance and beauty in its simplicity. Some could argue that at this price tag we should see more extravagance and opulence in the design. I think Nagra have played it a little safe quite deliberately. I think the design vision is that these products will spend the majority of their lives either on or in a hi-fi rack or installed in high quality modern or maybe classic furniture. In which case I think this design portrays just the right amount of quality. But without being at all overbearing, it's also a design I think that's likely to age well. In 20 years time, this classic integrated amplifier is still going to look quality. The visual highlights for me, I absolutely love that orange modulometer. I also love the red line that is exposed when you turn the amplifier on. That is much better than any LED. And I really, really love the styling of the volume dial that I love a lot. This Nagra amplifier is a small amplifier by high-end amplifier standards. So small, in fact, it was very easily to put it up there on that desk, helped by the fact that it only weighs 18 kilograms. I'm sure there are DACs out there that weigh more than this amplifier, but take a look at that top plate. Normally with a top plate of an amplifier, you measure it in millimeters, not centimeters. The front controls interaction is an immensely satisfying experience. There are lovely clicks to the on and off selector and the volume dial is smooth and that resistance just feels really, really lovely. On the rear of the amplifier, there is a nice selection of RCA inputs and also a balanced input. And these connections are all high quality, as you would expect of a product at this price point. There is a ground connection and a very unique method of connecting speaker cables. For four millimeter banana plugs, you simply insert them into the designated speaker terminal inputs. For spay connections, things are a little different. This is a unique way of solving the problem, one that I've not seen before. Connections are all made by Cardus and they are rhodium plated. The speaker cable connections is just one of several quirks to the design to the rear of the amplifier. It's possible to change the input voltage to better sync up 
with your DAX output voltage. However, the control to make that selection has been recessed. So it's extremely difficult to make that change. In fact, I had to go away and get a tool. It's impossible to make that change with your finger. Overall, the build quality is very satisfying. I would have absolutely loved to have removed the lid so I could see the high quality components that are inside. I managed to find an image of the internals of the classic power amplifier for some point of reference, which the classic integrated amplifier is based on. In fact, they have identical power amplifier sections. Looking at the spec sheet, you'll see the classic integrated has 100 watts per channel at eight ohms and is a class AB design. The classic integrated is designed using select tandem MOSFET transistors. Nagra say doing this difficult task precisely with simplicity is the key to the classic integrated amplifier's musicality. They also highlight key other areas of its design which are crucial to its performance. One of them is the preamplifier, and the preamplifier is a no compromise design. So moving on, let's talk about the sound quality. I noticed very quickly during the setup process, running Dirac Live and doing the tweaks that I do to get the system dialed in, that this is a very, very clean amplifier and that was immediately apparent in the treble. The Negra Classic has produced the nicest and the most detailed treble that I've had so far from the Kef Reference Free speakers. The treble and the mid-range are very sweet sounding, but not in an overly warm or overly smooth way and certainly not in a rolled off edges way. You get all the sound, it's just delivered in a clean and easy going, maybe even a delicate way. And I remember thinking to myself very early on in the review that this is an audio signal preservation device. It seems to present the music or the artist's intention to you in its entirety because it keeps the music so composed and it allows you to pick out all the individual details and really enjoy listening to them because they're delivered in such a smooth and sweet way. Vocals are separated just that little bit better than the majority of the other amplifiers that I've had in for review, which makes them just that little bit more special. Bass is clean, again, delicate and powerful to a point. If you want a big bass hitting amplifier, then there are better options available. But if you want a tight, controlled and detailed bass that forms a very balanced overall presentation, then look right here. If I was to say this amplifier is musical, I don't think that term or word would mean much to most audiophiles, despite it being true. But if I was to rephrase that and instead use the words, it's immensely enjoyable to listen to, then that might get the message across in a better way. And I think that sums things up really nicely. This amplifier is immensely enjoyable to listen to. And that moves us nicely onto the last of my four criteria. Does this amplifier have badger pill? Well, it's a Nagra, the equivalent of a Rolex of watches or the Bentley of cars. It's a Nagra, it's a desirable and luxury brand, but for all the right reasons. What does the Nagra Classic Amplifier offer? It offers the Nagra build quality and sound quality at the lowest price point. Yes, it's an aspirational product for audiophiles like me. However, for existing customers, it offers that Nagra sound quality in a very easy to accommodate compact form factor, which is ideally suited for their second, third, fourth, or maybe summer house systems. So my final thoughts, I've really appreciated my time with this Nagra Classic Amplifier and I've not listened to it nearly enough. I could listen to it much more. It's not without its design quirks and it might not suit all speakers and all expectations. And I can see a lot of audio files having a demonstration of the Classic Integrated and probably end up buying pre and power amp, maybe two power amps and using them as monoblocks. And that's not because they necessarily want more performance, but it's probably because they want more and more of that Nagra goodness because we are audio files were naturally greedy and there was a lot of Nagra goodness there to be had. But that's not to take away from what this classic integrated amplifier can do. It's still very impressive and with the right speakers, I think it could be absolutely mega. And I personally think it's just a lovely, lovely thing. So I hope you've enjoyed this review. I want to thank Nintronics, the excellent Hi-Fi and AV dealership for loaning me this sample for review. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like for the video and hit that thumbs up button. Also make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, clicking that notification bell so that you get a nudge every time we create a new video. I'll see you soon. Take care.